Welcome to my channel. Today, I'll show you how to install and run Windows XP on VirtualBox. Stick around to bring back the classic Windows XP experience and unlock some hidden features that will make your virtual setup truly special. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It really makes a difference and helps us create more great content for you. Open your browser and search for VirtualBox Click on the official site, then head to the download section and select Windows Hosts. I've already downloaded it, so I'll cancel this step. Next, scroll down a bit and download the VirtualBox extension pack file right here. Now open a new tab and paste the ISO download link from the video description to download Windows XP ISO file. Scroll a bit down and click on the download button right here. I already downloaded the file so I will just cancel. Now we can close our browser and head to the download folder. And as you can see, here we have our XP ISO file, VirtualBox installer, and VirtualBox extension pack file. Let's start by installing VirtualBox. Double click on it. Proceed by installing it just like any program. Once done, double click the extension pack file to install it. Click install. Scroll a bit down and agree to the terms and conditions. Successfully installed. Now click on the three dots right here and select welcome to go back to the home page. Let's create a new virtual machine by clicking on New. I'll call it Windows XP. Select the location where you want to save your virtual machine. Click on this icon and select the ISO file we downloaded. Make sure the type is set to Microsoft Windows and the version is set to Windows XP 32-bit. Select this option here, and then hit Next to continue. Here you can allocate RAM to the machine. I'll give it one gigabyte, and for the CPU, I will leave it as it is, one core, then click Next to continue. And here you can specify the amount of the storage. I'll leave it on 10 gigabytes. Hit Next, and then Finish. Before starting our machine, click on Settings right here, and then select Display. Set the video memory to 128 megabytes and click OK. Now click here to start the machine. Now it's loading files. This could take a couple of minutes, so let's speed it up. Hit Enter to continue. Then hit F8 to accept the terms and conditions. Hit Enter again to select the allocated partition. Now click Enter again to continue. This step could take several minutes as well, so I'm going to speed it up. Now it will show you on the screen to press any key to continue, but this is a trap if you do so. You will fall into a boot loop, so don't press anything.
Now, the installation has started. In this stage, you will need to personalize some settings from time to time, such as the language and date, your name, etc. Here you can specify your country and language. I'll leave it as it is and hit OK. Type your name and organization. Enter the activation key provided in the video description. And then hit Next. Give your computer a name and hit Next. Choose the date and time and hit Next. Now, this step might take half an hour, so take a coffee break and come back to it. Here it asks you if you want to personalize Windows XP or use the custom setup. I'll leave it as it is and hit Next. Click Next again to continue. Select OK to improve the visual appearance of Windows XP. Select Next to continue. Select Help Protect My PC, and then Continue. Select the first option here and then Continue. Are you ready to register online with Microsoft? No thanks. Now enter your name. So nostalgic, isn't it? Now you need to install Guest Editions, so click on Devices right up there. Select Insert Guest Editions. And then click the Start menu and open My Computer. Here, click double-click VirtualBox Guest Editions to install it. This took me about 10 minutes to finish, so let's speed it up. Now select Finish to restart the machine. Now, as you can see, the screen is so small. To increase the size of the screen, right-click an empty area and select Properties. Click on the Settings tab and increase the screen resolution to the maximum. Now, this is much better. If you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the subscribe button. It really makes a huge difference to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.